Kyle felt his phone ring, vibrating in his right leg pocket. <laughs> it would be suicide to check it in this moment, though. Mrs. Williams would be on him in seconds. The tests of two other students had already been ripped in half, as she would always do with technology offenders. If there was one thing she despised most, aside from distasteful students, it was cell phones in class. The restriction on digital devices was a standard for most teachers, but the use to her felt like a sort of personal insult, an attack on her attentiveness. Kyle ignored the message. From the amount the phone shook, he could tell it was only a text. It would wait until later, as the exam was going to be the potential saviour to his near-failing grade. The phone vibrated again. Kyle was irritated from the repeating shake in his pocket, but he was also a bit concerned. What if the message was urgent? Had there been a family emergency? He took a moment to think upon his life, and no current issues came to his attention. For all he knew, it was just a friend messing with him. Even worse, it could be one trying to screw with his grade wasting the time he had left for the test. He continued with the exam, quickening his pace. It was only five minutes later that Kyle's pocket shook for the third time. The feeling of the message repeated in bursts, destroying all concentration he was able to build back up. What had started as a minor distraction had turned into an obstacle and it had to be dealt with. Carl's bag was on the floor, next to his desk. In any other class, Kyle would be able to simply place his phone back into his bag, then move on without issue. Mrs. Williams, however, was keeping watch of the entire room. Some of the other careless, impatient students were already passing in their tests. With less test takers to watch, the heat of her eyes would only be on him more. In a moment of desperation, Kyle requested a trip to the bathroom. A brief moment out of the room would allow him to discard his phone in his locker. Mrs. Williams refused him but would be okay with it once his test was completed. Kyle felt a feeling of defeat as he looked at the clock. There was only 15 minutes left in the period. His test was nearing the end, with more than a third of it done. He had guessed on a few previous answers, but figured a completed test with guesses was better than one left unfinished. His pencil slashed at the answer sheet as the phone continued to vibrate freely. The test hardly meant much to him in the moment. The stress of the situation was driving him to complete insanity. The vibrations began to become almost continuous. He felt his left leg begin to sweat from the tension. Every question that wasn't a blatant no-brainer had become a matter of luck. Mrs. Williams gave him a look of confusion as she saw Kyle's abrupt increase in writing speed. It's not a race, Kyle. Calm yourself, or I'll have the impression that you're cheating, she said with a stern tone. Kyle nodded his head to acknowledge the command but he only continued his rush in a more swift and organized manner. His face, perhaps entire body, was beginning to sweat. The vibrating in his leg had reached the point of severe irritation, accompanied with a slight pain. He was hoping that the phone would fall out of his pocket at some point, 
but with five minutes left, he kept his hands at work. At last, Kyle's exam was completed. The final filled-in answers were scribbles, and, and would maybe lose points for their quality. Kyle didn't care, as he walked towards the door the moment his test was handed in. Mrs. Williams may have asked him to take a pass, but this went unheard to him because of his urgency to move. Even though the trip to the bathroom was to look at the phone, his nervousness had also presented a frantic urge to piss. After rushing, Kyle arrived in the bathroom and thrust his hand into his shorts pocket. He felt no phone, nor any object at all. He was surprised, of course. What followed was a disturbed confusion, but explanations then formed in his mind. <laughs> the phone could have fallen out of his pocket as he got up, with the vibrations moving it to the edge of the opening. Maybe there was no phone in the first place, and it was all an illusion of his own stress. He'd read an article on cell phone addiction a few days before. It stated that, when expecting a call or message, one might believe to almost feel their device go off at times. Kyle relaxed, and then realized that he still needed to relieve himself. He walked to the urinal, thinking about how he would have an interesting story to tell. As he was unzipping his shorts, he felt his pocket vibrate. Stunned, he carefully lifted the leg of his shorts. On his thigh was a blackened patch of skin, bulging forward like a bump. The area was large and convulsing with movement. Kyle, his hand trembling, touched the growth and retreated as soon as he saw it shift away from his fingers. Every inch it moved on his leg gave Kyle a feeling of invasion in his body, making him want to faint. How it got there, he didn't know but it left him paralyzed of any reaction. The growth continued to vibrate like a phone as it began to move up towards Kyle's torso.